So the next thing we are going to make is our spine for the album that holds our pages. The white part here. So what we're going to need is grab that um, soft cardstock that we use for the spine on the outer cover and we need to cut it at three and one quarter inches wide and then it needs to be 11 inches high <clears throat> which is the height of our pages in our album and then just white corn cardstock we need four pieces and these are three quarter inches wide and 11 inches tall so three and three quarter by 11 three uh sorry three and one quarter by 11 and our four little white cardstock pieces are three quarters of an inch by 11 and grab some fabric i'm using white fabric on the inside of my album for the spine let's see here and we want to measure it's at least going to be 11 inches long so I'm going to make a mark there and we need two inch strips so two inches there it does not have to be exact two inches two inches two inches two inches one two three four and then also at the stop to at the top two four two eight and then I'm just gonna connect these lines together I like drawing the lines it just makes it easier for me to cut it We're just going to cut these out real quick. All right. Now take one of your three quarter by 11 pieces. And what I want to do is, let's see what the best way to show it. I want to trim the fabric down on both end because I want to leave a little less than a quarter of an inch of the paper out beyond the fabric on both sides. So I'm just going to take my sister, scissors. trim that down if it's a little more than a quarter of an inch it doesn't have to be exact it is going to be covered up so now I want to take and put glue but we're not going to put glue on the little quarter of an inch on each end we're going to leave that open so I'm just going to and center it the best you can onto your piece of fabric. And you don't have to, we are gonna stitch this also, so you don't have to put a lot of glue. Just 
just enough to hold it in place and that's what we have and we're just going to keep doing the rest of them have scraps around um, it doesn't matter the width and what we're going to do is we're going to take one these are our gussets that are going to go on our spine and then the little flaps are actually what's going to attach our pages to and what I'm going to do is put glue over the paper and the fabric all the way down and then I'm going to glue it to our back and I want the edge of the paper to go all the way to that left hand side on both ends and that way it'll be glued and you'll have a flap just like that so make sure your paper goes all the way to the left so we're going to go ahead and glue the little paper that part that we didn't glue before so just squeezing it and you can tell where your paper is because we only want it on that area all the way to the left that way if you turn it over you can tell the difference that it's right on that edge all right the next ones are going to get a little bit tricky let me move these and see if I can come in with my camera some I can't do it sideways I have to have it up and down Okay, so take your ruler and take your flap of fabric here and push it over to one side and then just put your ruler on it to hold it in place. And I'll show you I'll show you what I'm gonna do before we actually put our um, glue down. We're gonna take our extra chipboard piece. And we're going to put it all the way against that edge there. And then I want this tip of paper to go all the way against this end. Move my flap up. Including the bottom. Let me see if I can. I'm going to zoom in and we'll just show the top half of it. All right. So I'm going to take my glue. I'm going to put it in the paper and the fabric. Kind of pinching it like this because we only want it where the um, paper is. Okay. 
All right. So I'm going to put my uh, chipboard all the way to that edge, and I want the edge of my paper touching that chipboard on both the top and the bottom. So I'm going to press it down and push it towards the chipboard at the same time. There we go. So when we move our chipboard, we have just enough space that our page slides right in there and then we glue each flap to each side of the page whenever we get to that part. And we're just going to keep doing that until we finish with all four of our pieces. So I'm going to hold that down. I'm going to try to Too much glue. Come on, Michelle. You can get it. All right, grab them the next one, fabric side down. Grab our chipboard and push that wooden, I mean, push the paper all the way against the chipboard piece. space there. I'm going to come back in to do the last one. All right. This one should work out where it's all the way against the right hand edge of pages in. So when you flip it over, you see I have a flip here and a flap there. So this is one, two, three pages, and these are our gussets. Now I like to um, put uh, coordinating cardstock on these gussets here, and then stitch them. You're more than welcome to stitch them while they're white. Uh, the paper that I'm going to use is a uh, Doodlebug Design Company. I guess it's special delivery that I got from um, Amazon. And then I'm also going to use a little bit of this Bundle of Joy New Edition from Echo Park. 
and it's just kind of, I have a bunch of cut up pieces, so I may just add some of that, which I think I'm going to use some of the cut up pieces on the gussets. Let's see. Trying to pick one out. Sorry, I probably should have done this in advance. I'm going to do this one. Oh, paper cutter. All right, and you want to do just like a um, when you're doing a photo mat with a white background. You want to leave just a little bit of the white showing around the outside of it. So ours are three quarter of an inch. So I'm going to cut mine just under three quarters of an inch wide. And we need four of them. I should have done the pipe first. It would have made it a lot. Uh, I'm sorry, it's 10 and a half. 11. So now I'm going to cut each one 11 inches, just under 11 inches. can take these and glue them down. We do not need a lot of glue because we are about to stitch them. I'm just going to double check mine. Yeah. I'm just going to put like one strip down the center. it in place while we stitch. camera on my sewing machine but what we want to do is start at one end as close to the outer edge as possible then we're going to go down to the bottom across and up that other end and we're going to do that for all four of these gussets all right so I have mine finished stitch stitching each one and like I said, I use a heavy duty um, thread because I like it to show and then down and then up. And we do that on all of our gussets. Now we're going to flip it over and deal with all these little stragglers here. So what you want to do is go ahead and grab you a... Um, safety pin and what you want to do let me come in really really close here so y'all can see it 
Well, this one's kind of visible because this it caught the loop when it was going through. So we want to pull the thread that's in the front and pull it to the back. And I'll show you again. That one was a little bit different than normal. <clears throat> so when you have your thread on this back side, well, if you can focus, when you give it a little pull, you see that loop right there that it pulls up? You want to grab that and that's the thread from the front and you want to pull it to the back. So we need to do that. I know we got threads everywhere. We need to do that for each and every one. this one here they get caught up in the sewing machine but I found the loop and I'm just gonna pull it through So there's our front, all our stitches have been pulled to the back. So now I'm just going to fold it over. This one's a little bit too long. And you can take any glue. I use a glue stick just to kind of make it a little bit easier. and run it across all those threads and have them stick down. There we are. Now we need to cover up all these threads. So I'm going to grab my white fabric, which is the same fabric that I used here. Let me clean up this. two flaps. We want the same width as our chipboard piece which was three and a quarter. Now the ends are going to be folded onto itself so give yourself I don't know maybe an inch and a half on each end. So I'm going to go ahead and can we go this way? No. Cut one piece out. Just an estimate and then I'll make it smaller. them to the inside of our spine which when we attach it each flap that's onto our ends 
will attach to each side of the cover. Since this is not going to be glued to the back, they're going to stand independently of each other. We need to cover this part with some fabric so when you look into the top that you won't see this part here. So grab your blue fabric. Alright, so I'm going to measure. I know that our album is 12 inches tall. But we are just going to cover from where this blue starts and down to this blue. So measure yours because each one that flapped over might be a little bit different. And I'm going to cut my fabric 10 and a half inches wide. And let's see, our spine is three and a quarter, so let's make it four. So mine is going to be ten and a half by four. to trim this end here where it's like the manufacturer stitch and now I'm going to glue this down is glue. You can't see because of the ruffles, but when I closed mine, it kind of bubbled up a little bit. So I just wanted to press the ends and make sure that everything is well adhered. going to go on top of that and we're going to just put glue on these two outer flaps if you have a design paper that you put in your um, gusset make sure which direction that you want to put yours in. Mine's just a random pattern so I'm not really worried about it. And we're going to put lots of glue. And we definitely don't want the spine to come out. And I know I have it laying down but I am just putting it on this flap here. Sorry I have to use two hands to squeeze this thing. So my little flap, I have enough glue on it, and I'm going to look top to bottom, get it centered inside, and this edge should come and meet directly where this edge of this chipboard is. My spacing on my top and my bottom looks about even. I'm going to go ahead and put that, ooh, this sucker's making a mess. So I'm going to go ahead and put that down. Um, let's see. 
I didn't look at my top good enough. I'm going to, while it's still wet, pull that up so I can cover this white trim a little bit better. There we go. Alright, now we're going to do this flap here. Now, when we close our album, and you'll be able to see when it is open here, you the blue will be covered, the spine on the blue, and then the back of the part that's holding our pages will be covered. And there we go.